The teacher work sample is all about being effective. And so for a moment, I want you to think about what it means to be an effective teacher. The teacher work sample is reflective documentation of a unit of instruction. Uh, it's got a couple of key features. It uses a pre and a post assessment to chart student growth through the process of the unit. And it's designed to really target instruction at the needs of the students being taught rather than thinking about the content or, or the, the area or, or how would I teach this topic or this unit. It's more, how do I teach these students? The teacher work sample really um, took what I learned in theory in my classrooms, um, my graduate classes, and allowed me to put it to practice. And so by actually identifying the learning objectives for my students, knowing my, um, the demographics of my students, I was then able to uh, achieve some of those objectives through pre and post assessments. You know, I learned if they were SLD, ELL, if they needed speech, um, if they were on free and reduced lunch, so their home needs and how I could help them out as a whole child and not just their learning needs. They start by looking at the contextual factors. Who are my students? What's my community like? What individual student needs do I have in the classroom? And then they go and they figure out what, what are their learning goals? What are they going to be teaching in this unit? And then they figure out how they're going to assess those learning goals. How am I going to know that my students have really learned this and really mastered the, the material that I want to give them? And then they plan out their instruction and then, of course, they deliver instruction. And all teachers know the plan you have going in is not always exactly what happens. So there's a component there where they talk about the, the instructional decisions they've made, the things they had to tweak or change on the fly, and how they knew that they needed to make a change, why they made the change, and what happened because of it. And then at the end, they analyze student learning and, and reflect on it. I learned a lot more about myself and the things that I need to focus on. Do not procrastinate. There's a lot of work that needs to be done, and if you portion it out, then it doesn't seem like this daunting task that you need to do. If you do a little bit at a time and take your time, then everything will go smoothly. Being reflective about this process then allowed me to go explore the resources that were there for me to become a better teacher. I think the most valuable aspect of a teacher work sample uh, would be the process involved and the fact that um, uh, we were to assess the learning objectives from the very beginning and analyze the learning environment, analyze our students uh, coming in from previous FCAT scores and uh, previous uh, needs and to be able to accommodate them within our learning objectives um, and having this all in a very organized fashion and then being able to graphically show um, how our students have improved or not improved uh, and then being able to reflect back on that uh, was a very uh, good process and it helped me tremendously in assessing my teaching ability. A student teacher said, I've never been busier in my entire life. And she said the teacher work sample prevented my internship from being a disconnected jumble of meaningless experiences. I mean, she went on to say how it really focused her attention on what she was there to do, and she really appreciated that. That comment really said a lot to me about the strength of this model for really focusing teachers on, on the experience of teaching and learning and getting the most out of it possible.